Hello, good morning. Buenos dias. I am packing to go to San Miguel de Allende, Mexico for a week with my mom for a girl's trip. So I wanted to share what I am packing. And then on the other side of the trip, I will share what I wish I had brought and what I didn't actually even need to bring with me. So first off, I'll start with what I'm planning to wear as my travel outfit. Always important when you're traveling to consider like the bulkiest items. So I'm going to be flying from Miami to Dallas and then my mom and I will be meeting up in Dallas. She's coming from Minneapolis and then we're going to fly to Leon, Mexico. We're going to stay there a night just to get our feet under us, get a little rested and then we're going to have a driver take us. It's supposed to be about an hour and a half to San Miguel de Allende. We're going to be there for five nights and then we're doing it in reverse where we're going to go back to Lyon because we're going to be taking a super early like 5, 5.30 a.m. flight to go back home our respective ways. So travel outfit. I'm going to be wearing these soft gap wide leg jeans with a comfy black slightly cropped t-shirt from Target and I'm going to be wear I'm going to be wearing that with my favorite Melissa Megan's. I love these so much. I got them in three colors. I have them in a bubble butt gum pink and kind of a royal blue as well. I did buy them in Brazil, but they do have them on the US site if you are interested. I have people chase me down about these all the time asking what they are, where they're from. I'm obsessed with Melissa. I've been a long time collector, but these ones are some of my absolute favorites. They're super comfy. San Miguel de Allende is a UNESCO protected Spanish colonial town. So it is cobblestone streets and hills from what I have read and researched. So no heels and I probably won't wear these out like sightseeing if we come back and then we're going to go out for dinner or happy hour then I might wear these. But I did want a little bit of a platform shoe to bring with me. So I'm going to wear that in my outfit and then I'm going to wear this just to add some color, this really beautiful beaded necklace that I got in Quito, Ecuador. So that's my travel outfit. Move those out of the way. What is in my bag? I'm so excited to use my new bagu. Today is my fourth wedding anniversary and this is my anniversary gift. I think that the bagu medium crescent bags are the absolute ultimate travel bag. This was from a limited edition dead stock leather that they did. I also haven't decided if I'm going to bring this one as well. This is the leopard. This is my other one. This you can literally just throw in the washing machine. And I love the nylon because I could just like, I bring this to the beach even, but I wouldn't bring the leather to the beach but it still looks nice. When I'm traveling, I like a bag that isn't super flashy, but is still chic. So this one, it just, you know, it's got a little bit of their logo, but I mean, super minimalist, fits everything I need. But what I love the most about it is this adjustable strap that's like extra adjustable because I love to wear my bags up super high when I'm traveling. And I feel like a lot of designer bags, like I had a Chloe bag and a Givenchy bag that I both liked to use for traveling. But the Chloe one, I felt like I was like digging down by my knees for my handbag or my wallet. I hate that. And the Givenchy one, I actually took the strap off and put a different strap on it that I bought on Amazon. Yes, I put an Amazon leather strap on my Givenchy, I have the Nightingale Micro, which I love for travel too. But this one, I could actually, I'm gonna fit a little bit of a, I could put a little water bottle in it even. It fits a bit more than that one. And I also sometimes, if I'm just getting in and out of cars or just like going down to the hotel lobby, I make this super short, kind of flip this through. And then now I can just like have it handheld or in the crook of my arm if I'm not going far. So honestly, the Bagu medium crescent bags are my ultimate travel bag. So I don't know if I'm gonna bring them both. I was only gonna bring the black leather one, but we might go to some hot springs and I feel like maybe the leopard one could be useful. We'll see. 
So the weather is supposed to be like 60 degrees in the morning and the evening and then like 85 during the day. So I will be packing my favorite, most loved jean jackets from Farm Rio in Brazil. This is, I actually bought this when we went for our Brazil wedding uh, reception. So I've had this for, it'll be four years in September. It is my most loved, most favorite jean jacket. I like the like boxy, but not wide. Um, the fun print and it is so worn in. It is, it's my favorite. This is all of the clothing that I'm bringing. These are my favorite packing cubes. I actually got them at Target. They were on clearance cause they were clearancing them out, which is such a bummer, but I tried to buy them all out because this size is perfect for my carry-on bag. It is exactly the size of my carry-on bag. So I put all the small things in the bottom, kind of Tetris them in, and I put this right on top. And for me, I only buy packing cubes that extra compress, that zip down even more. And I like ones that have mesh in the top in case you have something that's wet on accident or whatnot just some like breathing air for your things. So here's what I put in my packing cube. Okay, I have this Zara denim skirt. Cute. I'm gonna bring this, I think it's from Francesca's. I'm not sure. I, I bought it on ThreadUp. ThreadUp is where I buy a lot of my things. To be honest, I am a thread up junkie. So a little satin leopard, just something extra. And it just like crumples down to nothing. It doesn't wrinkle, easy to bring. Then I packed just some plain black tank tops that I can put with the jeans or with that denim skirt, or who knows what I'll buy there. <laughs> Obviously gonna be hitting up the shops there. So here's just a plain black rib tank from Target. I also have this one from Zara, kind of a cropped boat neck. Oop, that's chic and easy. And then I also have this knit one from Target. That's cropped, super soft. Love those. So I packed a couple of dresses then. So I think, yeah, three of them are from Farm Rio, Brazil brought this one, little tank dress, really cute, one of my favorites right now because this zodiac print is amazing. The Gemini is little leopards, which was so me, I died. This one that's like, I'll probably wear, like going out to dinner, who knows, um, a little off the shoulder. They're all kind of midi like the ones all these dresses are midi length. I thought that this would be cute with those orange Melissa's like maybe going out to dinner. I also packed this one Farm Rio as well. Midi length. This one adjusts through the back. So all of these dresses are just like flowy and easy. So if it's hot, I hate when the back of my legs stick to chairs and things when it's hot. Like that feeling gives me the absolute ick. So with the exception of the little skirt, all of these are a slightly longer length. So if we're out sitting on a patio and it's a little warm, I can keep the back of my legs from the back of a chair. I also packed this dress from a local place here in Miami, KK Bohemian at the Yellow Green Farmer's Market in Hollywood. They also sell online through their Instagram and their TikTok and their Facebook. I'm obsessed with them. I have so, so many of their dresses. They're affordable and they're stunning. So this one, it's a halter that also then adjusts then through the back like this. 
So as you can see with what I've been packing, I always pack with a color scheme in mind. And for me, I usually do black, pink, blue, and a little bit of white. I don't love to travel with white because one spill and it's over. So I know black can be hot in the summer when the sun is really strong, especially places that you know are higher altitude, closer to the equator, but it is so much easier to just pack with one neutral in mind. And my neutral is black with splashes of pink and blue, white, maybe a little gray. So that being said, I picked this up on Amazon. It's a little like crocheted cropped layer that I thought would be fun to put over the top of any of those dresses, either in the morning, if it's still slightly chilly or in the evening, we do have some rooftop dinner reservations. And it does then kind of change the look of those dresses. So the shoes that I brought, I guess I'll kind of skip ahead a little bit. I packed these, I put all my shoes, by the way, in shower caps. Roads are dirty, streets are dirty. You need to protect your shoes from touching everything in your bag. That's one of my best travel hacks, covering your shoes with shower caps, because then you can just throw them away or replace them. I'm bringing these Sorel, tie up adjustable shoes to be like my sightseeing shoes. See black, pink, white. I like this leather is really beautiful. It'll then match back to my leather handbag and these lugged grips on the bottom will be really great for cobblestones. And I like the adjustable on the top and across the back so I can get a really good fit. So these are gonna be my daytime shoes. I also packed just, I because they're small, I put them in this tiny shoe bag. I also packed these little slides from Target. Like if we're not going very far, if we're just gonna be in our hotel or just around the corner, I can throw these slides on. They're quite comfy, but a slightly more of a dressy look if I want, but I could take any of these dresses that I will be wearing with these shoes during the day and I can layer this little crocheted number over the top and then put these orange shoes on. All of these, I tried them all on. It's it's really cute. So I can take the same dress and give it a completely different look for evening just by changing out the shoes that I'm wearing on the plane and adding in this extra textural layer of the little cropped sweater. Change out your jewelry. It's a totally different feel with really minimal effort. So the other clothing items that I have packed I packed one beach wrap. I love to have one of these no matter where I'm going because it can be a blanket on the plane. It can cover your shoulders. If the sun is starting to get a little bit intense, you can use it like a bathrobe when you're getting out of the shower. So this one, again, black matches back to everything. We're gonna probably try out some local hot springs. So really necessary because they might not have towels. And the bathing suit that I packed is just this one piece with cutouts connected through there from Airy. And honestly, I could even wear this as a bodysuit with the jeans in the evening or with that little skirt. And it's a whole extra look just with my bathing suit. Pajamas, nightshirt, you don't need to see that. So the other handbag that I threw in was this little straw crossbody in case I don't want to use the big black handbag. Like if we're just going out in the evening and I don't want to bring the whole thing, I just brought this really adjustable little textural bag. 
Here are my liquids ready to go. I'm just gonna throw whatever from my makeup bag in the top here before we go. Um, this is how I travel with my undies, bras, socks. This is uh, one of the compartmentalized uh, lingerie wash bags. I bought it mainstays, so Walmart. I like to do this because it keeps everything separate and then I keep like the end compartment empty so then I put the dirty ones in there. For me, then I can just kind of squish this on top. Um, it's worked out really fantastic for me to organize those types of items that way. I am also going to bring little like under shorts to be wearing under the dresses. I find that to be very comfortable when it is extra warm and I'm going to be walking around a lot. Other things in my bag. Here's my other toiletries that are not liquids. Toothbrush. Um, my flat iron. I have one that stays at home and one that stays in my bag. I like to travel with an extension cord because sometimes if you're in older buildings, there aren't outlets right by your bed and I use my phone as my alarm clock so it gets it a little bit closer to the nightstand. And in the top of my bag, let's see some of the other things. I've just got my vitamins ready to go. I like to travel with a bunch of just extra different size Ziplocs, wet bikinis, your liquids. You never know when you need one. Just throw a couple in your bag. I am also bringing this mirror because my mom and I are going to be sharing a room, but we could make our own little makeup station in the room out of the bathroom if we need to take turns um, showering and things, but still want to continue to get ready at the same time. So it's got a bunch of different light settings on that very useful. I kept the bubble wrap that it was in because I had something like this in my bag once and it completely shattered. So either keep it in the bubble wrap or I might even put it, fold it in with my clothes as I travel because throwing your bag around throughout your travels could cause some breakage. Always have, you know, a couple extra batteries. I use a toothbrush that requires double A's. And this is something that I've started doing too. I carry this for my hotel keys. So I will throw my key card in here and this can just, it still opens the door through this. This is also Bagu, so it matches that medium crescent. And having it on the lanyard, if you need to quick grab it out of your bag, it's easier to find. It's for safety reasons, you know where it is, you can see it much more easily. And when you have your key card inside of here, you don't need to pull it out where your room number might be written. So for safety, this has really been working out great for me. And sometimes like if I'm just going down to the hotel lobby to have breakfast, I'll just grab this and I could clip like my AirPods. I have a little lanyard on my phone. I can just clip it all together, throw my credit card, cash, some other lip gloss, something else in here. And then I don't have to bring my whole entire bag. So this has been something that I've implemented recently that's been working out really well for me. So I'm going to grab my, oh, here's my personal item. I use this backpack for work because sometimes getting up and down air stairs or on and off the employee bus. I also have a lunch box, so I throw this on my back. But it is, I did a lot of research trying to find the right backpack for me. I do wish it was maybe slightly larger, but it's from Le Sport Sack. I love Le Sport Sack. It lasts a long time. You can put it in the washing machine. So what I love so much about this one is it has the straps on the top and then some really adjustable straps on the back. Very minimal. They don't get in the way. If I'm going to the beach, I have used this. I have used it for just like short hikes and then it's, it meets my work requirements. We're allowed to use any personal bag that we want so long as it's black. So this meets the requirements. Best part, it has this little trolley sleeve. Now this can zip close top and bottom. So when I am walking around and wearing it, 
like if I'm gonna go shopping in the market, I may wear this so that I can carry what I purchase in it. I then put my phone in that pocket that is closest to me and I can kind of maneuver my hands in and out easily. I don't have to take off the backpack, get my phone, put it back on. And also then my phone is closer to me for safety. But I love that it has two water bottle holders, often for work, like I have a coffee and my water. So I'm gonna be bringing this water bottle. I've just got some hand wipes, super important. And then I often put like, if I have this on top of my suitcase only, I'll put like my crew badge or my passport right here, ready to grab quickly in that front pocket. And then only if I have this on top of my luggage, it's right in front of me, I put my phone here so I can easily get it in and out, show my boarding pass on my phone. If I need to connect with the person that I am traveling with, then my phone is easily at hand. Makeup bag. This was a pencil case that I bought at Target and I love how it unzips all the way and then open. So it's easy to just kind of grab your stuff easily some snacks. I have the jewelry that I'm going to be wearing on the trip in this little zipper pouch. Some more snacks. I keep my passport, important documents, extra foreign currency in this pouch because it fits easily. There's little pouches inside the bag and this slips in and out easily so I can always see it and I know where it is. Here is my electrolytes and my favorite stevia, a little packet of that. I have a bunch of extra batteries. This one will charge my phone, my iPad multiple times. So sometimes I just use this if there isn't an outlet near the bed at night. And then I just recently got one of these. These are such a game changer. The ones that are magnetic to the back of your phone. So if you don't have this with like the cord all around, this just is so easy because you can continue to use your phone in your hand but it does only charge my phone one time honestly having a sharpie when I'm at work is I'm amazed how many times I need a sharpie so I just carry one around all the time traveling like if you're traveling with someone and everyone has a water bottle you just write your name on it or like silly things like that you'd be shocked how many times you could use a sharpie Oh, just some extra pens, cords. Gotta have your pens to fill out your immigration documents. Although I'm loving that so many places are going electronic, especially Mexico. In and out of Mexico City in Cancun recently, they've got these new like immigration areas where you just scan your boarding pass, no papers at all. Love it. Don't know if they have that in Leon yet or not so we gotta have our extra pens to be sure that we can fill out any immigration documents that they may want us to fill out so that's basically it for what i'm packing for this trip because i gotta leave a little room for shopping we know that shopping is going to be happening <laughs> but i really spent a lot of time considering what colors i was going to be wearing what i thought i was going to be doing I'm packing for this girl's trip differently than like I'd be packing for like a hiking trip with my husband. So I really think I did good deciding what I was gonna bring, but I will follow up with this video and share what I ended up not needing, what I wish I would have brought, and then maybe I'll share what I bought. So stay tuned for that. If you've been to San Miguel de Allende, please comment anything that you think that we need to do, what not to miss. I am so excited to go on this trip. So thank you so much for watching this video. Again, if you got any tips, let me know. I'm dying to know.